I fundamentally disagree with virtually everything you've decided about my character. If you don't mind me, I'd like to talk about something again. You've seen me in many streams that I've appeared. I've talked about this on my uh, shows as well. About this enthusiasm problem, I've done several videos on it, uh, different segments on For Canon's Sake talking about it, and I want to reiterate it and maybe even be a little more clear, right? See, when I talk about this enthusiasm problem that uh, right now Hollywood has, it's not simply about making something good or bad, okay? You have, the, of course, uh, the right, and you maybe are afforded the leeway. I think even back in the gap with Star Wars as a big example, where you had something that was as divisive as like the, uh, the prequels, right? Now this is pod racing. Um, or mixed, let's say, in terms of how people viewed it. Maybe they view it in a different lens, seeing what Disney has recently, or Lucasfilm has recently put out. But the enthusiasm was still there, okay? Um, and that's different than what we, we are generally discussing. Because right now, everything feels like a chore for even the general fan, where they feel like they have to drag themselves into a theater to go watch something. Uh, that's a groan. Yeah. Uh. Acolyte trailer comes out recently, right? Do you look at that and you say, I'm enthusiastic about Star Wars? I'll do it. Let me tell it. Uh. 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 Even the things that people see is like, um, uh, what is it, Andor or whatever? Where some folks are like, oh, that's solid. What good did that do you? Not like it made Disney Plus any money. Everything that goes into Disney Plus right now is a time sink. That's your problem right there. It's not simply about making good or bad material. It's that you don't have favor with the audience right now. Normies or diehards. With diehards, that's your ceiling. That's going to be what drives your company forward always. To sacrifice diehards for the sake of appealing to normies, which are going to come and go, is foolish. Especially for a brand like a Star Wars. Especially for a brand like a Marvel. Sure, let me say this. The changes that these guys often make in the direction that they go does not ensure them. It's not making it more digestible for normies. It's not how it works. The normies, they're going to flock to whatever uh, is like, let's say, the end game. Right. So you can do something that is often dedicated to your diehard fans and still appeal to normies. How did the most optimistic, hopeful character in the galaxy turn into this hermit? I read that and I said, what? It's a complete myth to believe that you have to sacrifice certain things in this quality of a project or a movie or a game, even for that matter, for the sake of appealing to a wider audience. It's nonsense. The enthusiasm is just simply not there because you look at something. And even if you are one of those that goes and says, I'm going to go get Disney Plus and I'm going to watch this. Oh, it was solid. I thought it was decent. That doesn't mean much because, again, it's not you're not getting a return for it. The reason why you're not getting a re return for it is because people don't feel like it's even worth giving it a shot. I don't feel so good. Which is unheard of for certain brands. To, to know that a Star Wars can't just crap out money like that with the movies and, and, and even television and, and, and stuff, that, that's insane to me. Marvel right now is in an interesting spot. It's the same thing. It's an enthusiasm problem. Now, they will never admit that they are the part of the problem, right? Maybe they've let people uh, get in these positions that they never should have been in. Uh, maybe they're in, in, in control of a certain uh, directions that they're going in, and it's not really conducive to um, <laughs> uh, 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 making the product better because they don't care about that. It's just a stepping stool, stone, if you will, to go get to the next part of their career. Maybe that's the case. But people aren't watching this. They don't get enthusiastic about it. They don't say, oh, man, let's let's have an entire fandom about this and, and let's talk about this with, with such excitement. And then afterward, maybe you feel a different way about it than I do. And that's cool. That's what fandoms were always about, us arguing about that type of stuff. But people don't even have that conversation anymore. They don't care to have it. And I don't know if Hollywood can turn that around. They can't do it with new pro Everything's an outlier, right? Oppenheimer, Barbie, outlier. Outlier. Not a thing that's going to be consistent. I, I don't think they can turn it around. I, I just don't think that they have the... It's a mammoth that they're controlling and they have to pivot. And they can't. And uh, the people that, are, that, that, that absolutely have the power, uh, that probably focus on things that have nothing to do with entertaining their audience... They're in the power. They have the power. They're in positions of power. And they're not letting that go. You'd have to gut the entire thing if you wanted to move in a different direction. So that's not to say that Hollywood wouldn't produce a movie. Like I said, with a, even some of these Star Wars property, they can maybe produce a show that most people that see it don't think it's terrible. Let's just use that as the metric. 
that doesn't mean anything. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Because the general enthusiasm is effectively zero. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Move along. Move along. Even if the acolyte turns out that it's most people liked it, maybe enjoyed it, means nothing. Not enough people are willing to reach in their pockets and go pay for Disney Plus to get it, which shows that you don't have enough people stoked on it. And I think that speaks to the damage that they've done to the brand and how the audience is kind of just chugging along. It happens in waves, this stuff, right? It goes up and down, which is why, a little business lesson here. It's why you don't ever turn off your hardcore fans. You don't sacrifice your hardcore fans. You don't sacrifice your diehards <laughs> for the sake of appealing to a wide demographic, which is, I think some people would argue with Star Wars is what Kathleen Kennedy wanted to do. See, you don't ever do that because the normies, they'll come, they'll go, they'll come and go. It's up and down with them. You have to understand that just make something for the people that are into it. And that's what they've lost Hollywood in general. Like make something and you, they'll give you a lot more leeway when you make something that maybe is uh, deemed as uh, has more mixed reviews. Right. They won't completely drop jump off the ship. Not everything you're going to do is, is going to be an absolute hit. But you'll at least be in good favor. And that's what they've lost. And you see that in the just sheer lack of of enthusiasm that there is for a given product. Could you imagine they put out a Ghostbusters movie and not to say that there aren't people that went to go see it. Of course, people went to go see it, but does it feel like it? No. And that's the point that I wanted to make. Thanks for watching right now. The Ripperverse is in the middle of our latest campaign, Yaira Number no. 1, which was written by the Saskas. Head over to Ripperverse.com, pre-order and check out our first live action trailer and the latest Ripperverse Studios production. Y'all be easy.